Alamera, Wikipedia article audio. Alamera was a 1931 Indian film directed by Arde Shurirani. It was the first Indian sound film. Irani recognized the importance that sound would have on the cinema, and raced to complete Alam Era before several contemporary sound films. Alam Era debuted at the Majestic Cinema in Mumbai on March 14, 1931. The first Indian talkie was so popular that police aid had to be summoned to control the crowds. The film was house full for the next eight weeks of its release. It was advertised with the tagline All Living, Breathing, 100 Percenter Talking. Plot Cast The film has long been lost and was not available as far back as 1967 according to the National Film Archive of India, pun. The film is a love story between a prince and a gypsy girl based on a Parsi play written by Joseph David. David later served as a writer at Irani's film company. The story centers on an imaginary, historical royal family in the kingdom of Kumarpur. The main characters are the king, Sultan Salim Khan, and his two warring wives, Dilbahar Begum and Nabahar Begum. Their rivalry escalates when a fakir predicts that Navbahar will bear the king's heir. Dilbahar, in a fit, attempts to have an affair with the kingdom's chief minister, General Adil Khan. The affair goes sour and a vengeful Dilbahar imprisons him and exiles his daughter, Alamara, or Alamara. In exile, Alamara is brought up by gypsies. Upon returning to the palace at Kumarpur, Alamara meets and falls in love with the charming young prince, Jahangir Khan. In the end, Adil is released, Dilbahar is punished and the lovers marry. Both the movie and its music were widely successful, including the hit song Dadakuda K. Nampur, which was also the first song of the Indian cinema. It was sung by actor Wazir Mohammed Khan who played a fakir in the film. As playback singing had yet to start in Indian cinema, it was recorded live with musical accompaniment of a harmonium and a tabla. The film marked the beginning of filmy music in the cinema of India, as noted film director Shyam Benegal said, it was not just a talkie. It was a talking and singing film with more singing and less talking. It had a number of songs and that actually set the template for the kind of films that were made later. In fact, the 1932 film Indrasava had an overwhelming 71 songs in it. Significance in 1930 Irani was prompted to make India's first talking and singing film after he saw the part talky American film Show Boat. At that time, there were no soundproof stages and technicians were unaware of how to make a film that had sound. He then decided to make a screen version of a popular stage play written by Joseph David, who agreed to adapt the play for the silver screen. Irani handled the sound recording department, using the TANA sound system. It was shot with the TANA single system camera, which recorded sound directly onto the film. The film was mostly shot at night, between 1 a.m. and 4 a.m. with microphones hidden near the actors. The studio was near the railway tracks, and the noise of the trains disturbed the shooting during the day. Since Alam Era was the first Indian sound film, the makers needed actors who knew the language. Ruby Myers was considered for the title character but Zubita was cast instead. It was because Ruby Myers was an Iraqi Jew and was not fluent in Urdu or Hindustani language. The then newcomer Merbub Khan, who later went on to make Mother India, was considered for the male lead. But, 
they decided to cast a more commercially viable actor and chose actor stuntman Master Vithal. Production The film had music by Firas Shah M. Mistri and B. Irani, and had seven songs. There is no known copy of the film today. The National Archives of India says that they do not possess a print and couldn't locate one as far back as 1967. It was incorrectly reported that the last known prints, in Pun's film archives, were damaged by a fire in 2003 when in fact no copy was ever possessed by the film archive. According to P.K. Nair, founder-director of the National Film Archives of India, Pun, the report that Alam Ara print was destroyed at the NFAI is incorrect. Alam Ara recorded as the first Hindi film of Bollywood. A total of 78 actors for the first time recorded their voices for the film. Google celebrated 80th anniversary of the film's release by means of Google Doodle on March 14, 2011. A 2015 calendar was released exhibiting posters of some of the first Indian films, including Alam Era. Soundtrack Lost Legacy Dadakuda Kanam P. Wazir Mohammed Khan Badla Dilwe Yega Yarab, Zubida, Rutha Hai Asman Gum Hogaya Mahatab, Jilu, Terry Kotal Nigahan Eni Mara, Dadil Kao Aram Isaki Gulfam, Bar Bar K Jam Pila J A Sagar K Kalain Bala, Daras Bina Mare Hai Tars Nana Pyar.